Sup guys, this is the Power of Mushroom and I'm coming to you guys with a news video. This one I'm actually very excited to talk about because it's one of those games that I'm just real passionate for. I've loved these this series, like, I've loved this series forever. Like, if anything, it's one of those series that just got me introduced to first person shooters and stuff. It was legit. It was like the, it was almost like Doom pretty much. And by the title of this video, you guys already know what I'm going to be talking about. This is about Halo. Now, there is no doubt that everybody knows the uh, the monstrosity that was released uh, with the Xbox One, the Halo Master Chief Collection. Granted, it wasn't all bad. You you did have a lot of great benefits to playing all your favorite Halo games on one console, all on one disc. But overall, the game was released broken. The game was released with you know out of working theater mode, without multiplayer working properly. People would lag out of games. It's still broken to this day. If you guys you know, if there's anybody who hasn't played the Master Chief Collection recently. It's definitely gotten better, but definitely there's a lot of room for improvement because servers just, they don't work like regular Halo games should. Multiplayer isn't stable. None of that. And it was released, it's just a huge disaster. Now recently, six days ago actually, which I'm pretty late to this, but I just saw a tweet by one of uh, these people I follow on Twitter, and they posted something that it read, pretty much read that 343 is working on an update for Halo, so I clicked on it, and sure enough, I come across a bunch of news articles saying that 343 is currently working on an update project for Master Chief Collection. Now, I had recently heard about the Master Chief Collection update, like, quite a while back, I think in November, that they were talking about it, but I didn't think it was going to come this soon. But not only that, 343 has also asked for all the fans to give them their feedback. And this is what it reads. By th this is by no means a promise or a commitment to implement any of these ideas, but more an exercise to better understand that if there are opportunities to evaluate new features, which ones are most wanted by the current community. He wrote, again, please do not assume that any of these features would ever make it to MCC. Now, it goes on to say that one of the main matchmaking issues were related in the way that the game's gathered players, each title had some differences on how it sought out players, then connected them to into sessions. In an attempt to unify that method, we actually introduced a bunch of, with the benefit of hindsight, several avoidable problems and some unavoidable problems. 343's uh, Frank O'Connor wrote last year, it gets really technical, and this is as much metaphor as technical as explanation, but each potential player was assigned a kind of ticket which would then grant them entry into a match or session. Picture a virtual waiting room at a train station. When the train arrives, the match, everyone has to board, or the train can't leave. Issues arose when folks left sessions before the games had started. That would cause the initial ticket distribution to fail, and that sometimes meant very long wait times for matches as tickets were issued and reissued, especially in countries with lower populations. Now definitely, the online is definitely one of the major things that I, you know, I had a problem with, you know, in the Halo Master Chief Collection, because really people wanted to play the Master Chief Collection for the multiplayer. Halo is a cooperative game, which is one of the reasons I really hated Halo 5, it kind of destroyed that whole cooperative, you know, aspect of Halo. But the Master Chief Collection, trying to hold it intact, they tried, and it, it failed miserably. A lot of great things can come of this. 343 is, so, this is one company that I I am really, I, I'm not excited that they have the Halo franchise under their name because in my opinion, I don't think they've done really good with 4 and 5. 4 was decent, but 5 I really think killed it. But if they are this, you know, humble to reach out for, to fans and kind of ask for feedback on improvements, this is something I'm on board with. There's nothing more than I want just to see the Master, Master Chief Collection game just up and running perfectly. Because... Really, in all, my honest opinion, that is the whole reason I got the Xbox One. Of course, I'm in it for more exclusives, hopefully that, you know, Microsoft, that they release more, but the Master Chief Collection, when I saw that get released, that is probably one of every Halo fan's biggest dreams, is just to have every Halo game at their disposal, like, just right there, a click away, just play it, 1080p, 60 frames a second, multiplayer from each Halo game that was released, that is the dream. Really, it, it, it's pretty much the biggest Halo launch ever to come out, you know? Everyone was excited for this. And for 343 to come and ask the fans for feedback, because I'm pretty sure 343 knows they messed up. They've never really commented on it, except for what Frank O'Connor released in his statement last year. 
But with the company coming out and just asking for fans' feedback, that really says a lot about 343 and the direction they want to go with Halo. And I am on board with with them like every step of the way. Now you guys might be asking what should they improve for the Halo game? Well, honestly, for me personally, I'm gonna just straight up say the multiplayer is something they obviously they're gonna improve, they have to do it. But there are a lot of changes that I think need to take place in the Master Chief Collection and make it an overall better experience. And I am gonna make a video separated from this one. That way I can better go, I can go into depth about like what they should fix the user interface, there's a lot of things I think they should fix. And then really, this is your opportunity if you are a Halo fan, if you're a fan of Halo, or you know, you wanna see the Master Chief Collection up and running now, you can play with your friends, because me and my friends, we were super excited about this game, but a lot of us are disappointed at how we could never connect to each other, and how our campaigns were always crashing and game stuff, all of that. If you are a fan, and you want to see the Master Chief Collection, just get up and running, send 343 your feedback. This is one thing I have to urge you guys. I, I really want whoever is a Halo fan that's watching this video. I urge you guys, go ahead and make your own video, going into depth, even if it's a low quality video or something. Post like tweet to 343 on little things they could fix. If it's a small thing, just tweet it to them, because this is really the fans' chance to kind of say 343, look, this game is broken right here. Fix this. If enough people say it, I'm pretty sure 343 will do it. Again, it's not like 343 is going to go ahead and say, Oh yeah, this guy said that he wants, uh, I don't know, armor effects or something in the game. Let's put it there. It's not like that. I know it's not going to be like that, but I feel that if enough people are, are bringing to the like 343's attention the different issues of a Halo game or the Master Chief Collection, I think that it can better benefit 343 to know the problems that a lot of the fans have with the like the game because if we just sit right here and we don't tell 343 anything 343 is going to go off the roof and probably go their own direction and not really pay attention to the fans feedback because we're not giving them any feedback it's almost like as if you were a cook and you send your food out you know and you know you just keep sending your food out but the the customers aren't giving you any feedback so of course you're not going to make any changes so you could be cooking crap food and the entire time you're sending out food, it's going to be crap because you're not getting none of that feedback. Same thing with the Master Chief Collection. I feel that if 3, 4, like, we don't give them their feedback, they're going to keep on giving us crap. That's why we got to tell them the small things to fix, that way we can get a better game in the end. And overall, I think it could be the better Halo experience. This is our chance to kind of tell for 3, 4, 3 what's wrong, that way they can look into it and they can fix it. Like I said, probably not going to happen for like if you want extra modes or stuff. But a lot of the things I've been seeing people ask for is the firefight mode from ODST to come back, um, stable servers, you know, dedicated servers and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff that people are asking for, but it's all lying down to one thing. But I think that if you guys go ahead and tweet 343 what your issues are and enough people tweet about it, they'll fix it. If it's the user interface you have a problem with, there you go. One of the things I was thinking of, maybe like include separate menus, like if you could, uh, I don't know, change the background or something. Change the user interface a lot. Like the menus, I think they don't do justice to the Halo games. But overall, I'm really excited about this because Halo is, like I said, it's one of my favorite games of all time. And I hated to see how it was released. And I really think that this is a step forward in the right direction for 343. And hopefully for them, they could win back the fans that they kind of lost. You know, hopefully this is a... You know, this is a way to kind of get them to kind of communicate with the community more. And it's a great idea for 343 to do this. And I can really commend them. And I can't wait to see the finished product of the Master Chief Collection. But really, guys, those are my thoughts on this topic. But what are your thoughts? I want to know what do you guys think? Do you guys want to see more Master Chief Collection stuff from 343? Do you think that they should just can it? Let me know in the comments section, like, what, like, what do you think they should fix? Remember, if you guys want stuff to change talk to them about it tweet it message them i don't care make a video try to get it out there this is something that y'all have to do i will be making my personal video and i think that this video that i'm going to make is probably going to be one of the bigger projects i've done on this channel because i've never i've never tackled something like this and hopefully it all turns out well because i just bought software for this so i bought software for the next video that i'm going to do It'd probably take a couple of days but i'm going to work on it because i want this video to be to be the best it can be that way 343 could maybe watch it or i could kind of get some people to watch it and they can kind of get the idea of where i'm coming from but anyways 
Hopefully, guys, you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, a question for you guys. Do you guys think I should stream more on Twitch or YouTube? That is a question I'm really thinking about recently because people don't, not fans of mine from YouTube, they don't really watch my Twitch. A few people do, but I do have more people that just come across me on Twitch. I have my Twitch fan base and then my YouTube fan base. You know, I want to know for, from you guys from YouTube, do you think I should stream more on Twitch or YouTube? Let me know in the comments section down below. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. And remember, guys, when you guys are gaming, power up.